South African motorists are in for some relief as petrol and diesel prices decrease for the month of August. Now, the Central Energy Fund revealed a 15 cents per litre drop in all petrol grades, along with a 28 cents decrease for 0.05 sulfur diesel and a further 17 cents for 0.005%. Furthermore, international product prices for fuel have fallen, leading to this third consecutive month of price cuts. Senior economist Koketso Manu unpacks these reductions in the context of rand performance, seasonal demand, supply issues and global economic factors. Fuel prices have been cut for the third consecutive month in August. Petrol prices will drop by 15 cents per litre, diesel prices by around 20 cents per litre, so you will see your inland 95 unleaded petrol price at 23 rand 11 cents. Wholesale diesel prices will still be around 20 rand per litre. So what really supported uh, these cuts was a less appreciated rand. Um, while seasonal demand um, and some supply disruptions in the northern hemisphere uh, supported higher product prices. Um, so you will see as a percentage of the total petrol price, uh, your basic fuel price accounts for 52% taxes and levies for 30%, um, while your margins uh, make up the remaining 18%. Looking at the oil market, um, which we still view as finely balanced, uh, so we think that prices will remain sensitive to sentiment and economic data. We still have heightened geopolitical tensions in the Middle, in the middle East, and uh, we are also seeing low US inventories, and we think that should, that should uphold some premium on the commodities price. However, uh, we also saw weaker than expected data out of the US, uh, which suggests um, that, that that economy is slowing faster than anticipated and uh, demand should, should wane. Um, we're also seeing a weak uh, economic, uh, economic data or weak economic data out of China, uh, which will also weigh on prices. So this could all result in a delay in the intended OPEC supply increases from October. On the rent side, um, the, 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 the rand dollar exchange rate has been turbulent on challenging on a challenging global economic backdrop um, with the US labor market uh, softening quicker than expected markets expect the Fed to start cutting interest rates in September and by a larger quantum before the end of the year. So while this should support um, you know riskier assets, a stronger Japanese yen um, and search for haven is continuing to weigh on the rand. So we expect this volatility to continue as market repricing takes shape. Um, that said, um, you know, we still anticipate a recovery in the rent towards fair value of around 17 rent uh, 50, um, which would entrench expectations of lower inflation going into the last quarter of this year. This cut alone, um, you know, means monthly fuel deflation should continue in August.